spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class one. शुरु थे के शुरु कोई चोलन। चोलन आम्रा इंग्रजी बोर्नो माले प्रथम बोर्नो ए शाम पर के बिसेरी तो जरी नहीं। ए इंग्रजी बोर्नो माले प्रथम बोर्नो बा अक्षर ए उच्चारण होचे ए। Okay, Priyanka. Uh, what we, the learners of Bangladesh, usually pronounce the first word, B A Y. Bay, for example, Bay of Bengal. Yeah, that's right. But that's not right, actually. Uh, the correct one will be Bay. So the expression will be Bay of Bengal. So what will be the right pronunciation of M A Y? May. And how about S A Y? Say. Mm hmm. And D A Y? Day. Cool. And what's C L A Y? Mm, clay uh -huh. or clay? Is clay, yeah. How about L A Y? Lay. And R A Y? Ray. Mm hmm. H A Y? Hey. Okay. And how about W A Y? Way. Mm. How about P A Y? Pay. Okay. How about D I S P L A Y? Display. Mm hmm. And this word is really common, and we wrongly pronounce this one. E S S A Y. How do e you pronounce this? S A. S A. Uh, something like that, right? Yes, sir. But the pronunciation which is correct will be S A. S I. Yeah. How about G R A Y? Gray. Hmm. That's cool. How about F R I D A Y? Friday. Hmm. That's lovely. How about this one? A N Y W A Y. Anyway. Anyway. But what is the wrong one? The wrong one is anyway. Ah. Uh, how about H O L I D A Y? Holiday. 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 And we say holiday. Holiday. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's funny. How about M I D D A Y? Midday. And the wrong one is? Midday. Hmm. How about okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We say okay, right? Yes, sir. That's not right. How about P L A Y? Play. Play. But what do we say? Play. And what do the people of Borishal say? Do you know? Um, they I say Pele. Oh my God. I want to Pele football, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How about B A D D A Y? Bad day. Yeah. So what you have seen? If you find a y in the end of any word, it sounds like a, like bay, may, say, day, clay, lay, ray, hay, way, pay, display, essay, gray, Friday, anyway, holiday, midday, okay, play, and bad day. Now let's move on to the next part. Bangladesh is Shikhaidi Nichir, Tarot Ingraji Borner, Utcharan Shutubabe Korte, Iktu Shomushahoi. এর প্রধান কারণ হচ্ছে মাতৃভাষার উচ্চারণের প্রভাব যাকে বলে এমটিআই মাদার টাং ইনফ্লুয়েন্স এই বর্ণগুলোর শুদ্ধ উচ্চারণ শিখতে পারলে আপনার উচ্চারণ অনেকটা শুদ্ধ ও সুন্দর হবে 13 প্রবলেম ইংলিশ লেটারস দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ান ইজ এ ইউ রিপিট আফটার মি এ আহা এ এ এ এ এফ এফ এ ফর এফ এ ফর এফ ভি V. 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 E. V. E. V. So, how do we pronounce this one? We have to touch the lower lip with the upper teeth, right? Yes, sir. So, how do you pronounce it? V. 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 E. V. v. And the next one is G. G. Yeah. You use the hard palate and the middle of the tongue to pronounce this G. G. Okay. And the people of Borishal, they also say Z. Yes, sir. A B C D E F Z. I heard that. They don't know how to pronounce <laughs> this one as well. So it's G J E G, and the next one is H. H. H H H H H H. Okay. How about the next one? Is J J A J J A J. Yeah, that's right. And the next one is P P E P. You need to press your two lips together. P E P Again P E P P E P And the next one is T T E T T T E T C 
Cut a K. Cut a K. Cut. Cut a K. Cut a K. Yeah. And the next one is cut ya o Q. Cut ya o Q. Exactly. Cut ya o Q. Then O. O. Uh huh. And then R. R. And Prince, do you know how do the Americans pronounce this letter? They say R. R. And the British they say R. Can you? R. Yeah. Can you do it again? R. That's great. And the next one is, or the last one is, double U. Can you pronounce this? Double U. Da a ba la double ya u u. Da a ba la double ya u u. Double U. Double U. Now let's pronounce uh, the sentences. Yeah, we call it pronunciation drill. You repeat up to me. Please come to me today. 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 Can you please tell me the time? Can you please tell me the time? Great. Can you please tell me the time? Can you please tell me the time? I have ten times more. 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 Please cancel today's meeting. Please cancel today's meeting. Do it again. Please cancel today's meeting. That's really lovely. Yeah, we are done with this activity. Now, Prantha, what is the next lesson? Next activity. The next activity is called short self introduction. Hmm, short self introduction. This is very common, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And how many tips you have given here? There are three tips three given tips. here. What is the first one? Point. Name and hometown. Name and hometown. And the second one is? Education and profession. Aha. Uh -huh. And the third one is? Aim in life and closing. Okay. Now, can you uh, read this? I mean, can you give a short self-introduction about you? Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm your chauffeur in Hessen, but please call me Priyanti because that's my nickname. I am 14 years old and I'm from Borussia. I live in a city called Taka. I'm a student. My main ambition is to be a doctor, a trainer and super rich. That's all about me. Thank you all. Aha, uh -huh. that's lovely. So dear viewers and listeners, you need to introduce yourself this way. Now what is the next lesson, Priyanti? It's called the collocation, right? Yes, sir. Uh, you see, there are two ways. Something collocates. There is a tick mark and something doesn't, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, the tick mark phrases are okay and the cross marked phrases are not. So, Priyanti, we can say strong tea or strong coffee. But what we cannot say? We cannot say powerful tea or powerful coffee. Mm, that's lovely. And we can say tall tree, but... We can't say high tree. We can say heavy rain, but we can't say weighty rain. Mm, weighty weighty rain. Sorry, weighty rain. Okay, we can say rich taste, but we can't say deep taste. Uh huh. We can say big mistake, but we can say large mistake. Ah, uh -huh, that's nice. We really cannot say large mistake. Yes, sir. We can say great fun, but... We can't say big fun. We cannot say big fun, yeah. We can say sweet dreams, but... We can't say nice dreams. Isn't it a lovely lesson, lady? Yes, sir, it is. It is, but uh, the Bangladeshi learners, in most of the cases, we make mistakes in terms of using right collocations. Okay. Now, Priyanti, what is the next activity? The next activity is informal contractions. Contractions. But uh, won't you ask me a question that why do we need contractions? Do you know that? Um, no, sir. Can to you be, please tell me? Yeah, of course I can. It's, to be fluent, you need to use contractions. For example, I'm not going to I'm not gonna help you. I'm not going to help you. Now, I'm not going to help you. It takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So... Contractions, they will make your English faster and fluent. We got that? <laughs> so, let's move on. So, the first contraction is... Ain't. ain't. Yeah, ain't. The short form is ain't. What is the long form? Am not, are not, is not. I ain't sure. You ain't my boss. 
Though we've got ain't again, yes, that's going to be the full form. You are not my boss. Has not, have not. Uh huh. And the examples can be I ain't done it. Uh, Priyanka, can you tell me I ain't done it? What is the full form? I have not done it. That's cool. You are lovely. And the second one is she ain't finished yet. What is the full form? She has not finished yet. That's cool. Yeah. The next contraction is gimme, gimme. But mistakenly, many people say gimme. Now it's not gimme. You have to remember two letters give one sound. So it will be gimme, gimme. Oh, gimme. Right? Yes, sir. So what is the full form of gimme? Give me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then give me your money. Give me your money. Don't give me that rubbish. Don't give me that rubbish. Can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? Mm-hmm. That's good. Now the next contraction is gonna. Going to. Uh huh. Nothing's gonna change my love for you. Nothing's going to change my love for you. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not going to tell you. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Hmm. That's perfect. The next contraction is got a. Have or got a. Have got a. I've got a gun. I have a gun. Meaning I have got a gun. I've got a gun. I have got a gun. Meaning I have got a gun. A gun. I got a gun. I have got a gun. Uh huh. She hasn't got a penny. She has not got a penny. Hmm. Have you got a car? Have you got a car? Now I've got another gotta, meaning have got to. I've got to go now. I have got to go now. Perfect. I got to go now. I got to go now. Yeah. We haven't got to do that. We haven't got to do that. Have they got to work? Have they got to work? The next one is kinda. What is the elaboration? Kind of. Mm hmm. She's kind of cute. She's kind of cute. Meaning she's kind of cute, right? Yes, sir. Lemme. Don't say lemme, rather lemme. What is the full form? Let me. Let me. Cool. Let me go. Let me go. Hmm. The next one is wanna. Wanna. Mm. Want to, right? Yes, sir. Can you give me the sentence? I wanna go home. Ha uh ha -huh. I want to go home. The next one is wanna, meaning? Want a. Want a. I wanna can. I want a can. I want a can. They say, I wanna can. And the last one is really cool, is watcher. Watcher, the full form is? What are you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, that's really cool. Did you like the contractions? Yes, sir. It They're was fun. Cool, right? Yes, sir. Priyanti, the next lesson, or uh, I mean the activity, is sentence making machine, right? Yes, sir. So we can say, uh, it is a collected poem. It is a collected poem. He is a calm and collected person. He is a calm and collected person. It is a colored light. It is a colored light. It is a colored pencil. It is a colored pencil. He is a committed socialist. He is a committed socialist. She is a committed Christian. She is a committed Christian. He is a committed Muslim. He is a committed Muslim. He is a committed teacher. He is a committed teacher. She is a concerned parent. She is a concerned parent. Uh, the meaning of concerned here is worried, right? Yes, sir. It is a concerned authority. It is a concerned authority. It is a concerted action. It is a concerted action. It is a concerted effort. It is a concerted effort. He is a confirmed bachelor. He is a confirmed bachelor. He is a confirmed atheist. He is a confirmed atheist. She is a confirmed tea drinker. She is a confirmed tea drinker. It is a contented smile. It is a contented smile. It is a continued fighting. It is a continued fighting. It is a continued effort. It is a continued effort. He is a convicted murderer. He is a convicted murderer. She is a convinced Muslim. She is a convinced Muslim. He is a convinced 
atheist. He is a convinced atheist. She is a convinced socialist. She is a convinced socialist. It is a convoluted sentence. It is a convoluted sentence. It is a cooked piece of meat. It is a cooked piece of meat. It is a cooked piece of food. It is a cooked piece of food. He is a cold-headed person. He is a cool-headed person. He is a cold-headed boss. He is a cool-headed boss. She is a cold-headed MD. She is a cool-headed MD. He is a cold-headed leader. He is a cool-headed leader. It's a cracked mirror. It is a cracked mirror. It is a cracked window. It is a cracked window. It is a cracked plate. It is a cracked plate. It is a crammed train. It is a crammed train. It is a crammed room. It is a crammed room. She is a crooked police officer. She is a crooked police officer. He is a crooked government employee. He is a crooked government employee. It's a crumpled shirt. It's a crumpled shirt. He is a dedicated father. He is a dedicated father. He is a dedicated teacher. He is a dedicated teacher. It's a detailed description. It's a detailed description. He is a determined person. He is a determined person. He is a devoted fan. He is a devoted fan. He is a devoted husband. He is a devoted husband. She is a tall, dignified woman. She is a tall, dignified woman. It's a disciplined child. It's a disciplined child. She is a disciplined wife. She is a disciplined wife. It's a discolored tooth. It's a discolored tooth. It's a disconnected thought. It's a disconnected thought. It's a diseased lung. It's a diseased lung. It's a diseased kidney. It's a diseased kidney. It's a diseased brain tissue. It's a diseased brain tissue. It's a diseased mind. It's a diseased mind. It's a diseased imagination. It's a diseased imagination. It's a dislocated bone. It's a dislocated bone. He is a disputed army officer. He is a disputed army officer. It's a disputed border. It's a disputed border. It's a disputed goal. It's a disputed goal. It's a disputed territory. It's a disputed territory. He's a dissatisfied customer. He's a dissatisfied customer. He's a distinguished writer. He's a distinguished writer. He's a distinguished director. He's a distinguished director. He's a distinguished politician. He's a distinguished politician. She's a deeply distressed mother. She's a deeply distressed mother. He is a well-dressed man. He is a well-dressed man. He is a casually dressed man. He is a casually dressed man. It is an elevated position in the company. It is an elevated position in the company. It's an embattled government. It's an embattled government. He is an embattled teacher. He is an embattled teacher. It is an enlightened policy. It is an enlightened policy. He's an enlisted man. He's an enlisted man. She's an enlisted woman. She's an enlisted woman. It's a poorly equipped classroom. It's a poorly equipped classroom. He's an escaped prisoner. He's an escaped prisoner. It's an estimated cost. It's an estimated cost. It's an estimated value. It's an estimated value. It's an exaggerated report. It's an exaggerated report. It's an exalted post. It's an exalted post. He is an excited player. He is an excited player. We are done, right? Yes, sir.